breast cancer most common carcinoma in women by incidence excluding skin cancer second most common cause of cancer mortality in women risk factors are mostly related to estrogen exposure number 1 female gender number 2 age cancer usually arises in postmenopausal women with the notable exception of hereditary breast cancer early menarche late menopause obesity atypical hyperplasia first degree relative mother sister or daughter with breast cancer ductal carcinoma in situ dcis malignant proliferation of cells in ducts with no invasion of the basement membrane often detected as calcification on mammography DCIS does not usually produce a mass mammographic calcification can also be associated with benign conditions such as fibrocystic changes especially sclerosing adenosis and fat necrosis Biopsy of calcification is often necessary to distinguish between benign and malignant conditions. Histologic subtypes are based on architecture. Comedotype is characterized by high grade cells with necrosis and dystrophic calcification in the center of ducts. Major disease of the breast is DCIS that extends up to ducts to involve the skin of the nipples. Presents as nipple ulceration and erythema. Major disease of the breast is almost always associated with an underlying carcinoma. invasive ductal carcinoma invasive carcinoma that classically forms duct like structures most common type of invasive carcinoma in the breast accounting for more than 80% of cases presents as a mass detected by physical exam or by mammography Clinically detected masses are usually 2 cm or greater. Mammographically detected masses are usually 1 cm or greater. Advanced tumors may result in dimpling of the skin or retraction of the nipple. Biopsy usually shows duct-like structure in desmoplastic stroma. Special subtypes of invasive ductal carcinoma include number 1 tubular carcinoma characterized by well differentiated tubules that lack myoepithelial cells. Relatively good prognosis. Mucinous carcinoma characterized by carcinoma with abundant extracellular mucin tumor cells floating in a mucous pore tends to occur in older women average age is 70 years relatively relatively good prognosis medullary carcinoma Characterized by large high-grade cells growing in sheets with associated lymphocytes and plasma cells, grows as a well-circumscribed mass that can mimic fibroadenoma on mammography. Relatively good 